Hello everybody. This is my 1995 Toyota 4Runner. Um, uh, first of all, I'm not going to be driving this thing yet, but uh, it's still in good condition, still running. Um, but I mean, technically, it, it still runs, but legally, it cannot. It doesn't run because I had to register this car and smog it. So, like I said, technically, the car does run. It ha we already got the thing fixed, but legally, it cannot be driven because California law says yeah, I have to do a smog check and also have to do the the registration. But once I get that squared away, I'll be able to drive this thing and also get my license. Now, for those of you who live in foreign countries, the Forerunner is actually sold as the Toyota Hilux Surf. Now. Um, before I actually start this car up and give you guys a little rev up, uh, the difference between the Toyota Hilux Surf and the 4Runner is, uh, as far as uh, being right-hand drive, the 4Runner doesn't have the doesn't have the side mirror over here, whereas in the Hilux Surfs they do because uh, right-hand drive cars do require do have a. Uh, a little side mirror here on the fender on the Hilux Surfs. Um, and also in the US markets, North American markets, they don't call it a Hilux Surf. They call it the Forerunner, obviously. And um, Hilux Surfs are right-hand drive. Forerunners are not. And the Hilux Surf uh, also uh, offers a diesel option, whereas in Whereas in the Forerunners, we only have only the uh, petrol powers, so we only have the petrol engines instead of the and no diesel options. So I'm gonna open her up. Oops! I just later found out the locks are crap on this thing, so it's not gonna do so well when I open the door. So yeah, like I said, the Toyota Hilux Surf only uh, has the option you can have a diesel engine or a petrol engine, whereas in the 4Runners you only have the the petrol option, so you cannot have a diesel car unless you import a Hilux Surf from Japan. But um, everything, oops, I know it's kind of hard to see, but everything that you're seeing here is pretty much the same thing that you find in the 95 Hilux Surfs. Now, all the Forerunners uh, are all called Hilux Surfs on different countries. Um, so, pretty much everything here in the Hilux, uh, are pretty much the same thing in the Hilux Surf. So, without further ado, I'm going to start her up. Now, I really hate that. This, this sounds like before the ding, ding, ding that you hear on a lot of the newer cars. So, I'm going to start her up. Shoot. Hold on. He's not on. All right, try again. Am I doing something wrong? Okay, um, so a little bit of difficulty here, but I actually found, figured it out. Um, the st I just noticed that the key will not turn because the steering wheel was locked. So I, all I had to do was shake it, and uh, and now, like I said, I hate that noise. Before those little electronic dings come were into play. There she is all fired up. <laughs> I'm gonna open the hood for you guys. Like I said before, the Hilux Surf has a diesel option, but for the Forerunners, you only have a petrol. Uh, you only have the 
It only had a petrol power car, so probably either a four cylinder or this V6. Right, I'm gonna pop the hood down now. I'm gonna let this thing run for five minutes, but I'm not gonna be driving it because this car is, uh, well, like I said, the car technically works, but like I said before, the car um, does work fine, but the thing is, uh, I cannot be able to, I'm not be able, not able to drive it because uh, legally it's not supposed to be driven. So, um, uh, AC refrigerant is still not working, so we still need to get that uh, Freon in there. Some park, yeah. So I'm gonna let this thing breathe for five minutes and then turn it off. Ah, there's a little bit of AC refrigerant coming in. Okay. So, yeah, guys, um, this, uh, we need to get that thing fueled up too. But basically, uh, uh, this car still runs, but uh, if, as long as I get my get my license and my and get this thing registered and stuff like that, this car will be ready for the road, and I'll be able to drive this thing. And also, driving videos will be coming soon with this car. So yeah, don't worry, but don't worry, guys. Once I get this thing squared away, I'll be making a driving video for this. The interesting thing that I like about the 4Runner is it's not just because I I do like SUVs even though I, I'm a Ferrari kind of guy or a supercar, sports car kind of person. I do actually like the, the, the seating position on the 4Runner actually. Because most SUVs are like, they're pretty tall and you pretty sit like pretty high. I'm not talking about like as far as right height goes, I'm just talking about when you're just sitting on the seat. Now. Over here is just like uh, I have really good um, uh, leg run over here, and it's just tight enough for me to actually uh, sit in it fine. If only if I can find that stupid where is it? Oh, it's right here on the left side. Uh, the seating position is just perfect, actually. This just sitting in this car. Uh, this is actually one of the reasons why I love a four runner, um, even though I'll just yeah, especially with a truck though. I mean, the 4Runner is actually, uh, it was a truck back in those days until they changed it to an SUV. But, it feels great to sit on, on a car like this. I mean, though I've been really drooling over the Ford Raptor for a while, but I guess for starting off, I guess this car is perfect for me. And like I said, 1995, uh, and it still works perfectly. in the storage compartment here. Love box. <clears throat> Just legal documents. Yeah. DMV. Yeah, so um, it's been running in for three minutes now, so about two minutes I'm gonna turn this thing off. Because I'm just letting the car breathe. It's been sitting on this driveway for a while, so um don't worry forerunner. I'll be driving you soon. Oops, I turned on the turn signal. <laughs> All right. So, stuff like that. Yes, we are. Yeah, the other locks are fine. I can see them from here. So, there you guys have it. My 1995 Toyota 4Runner, also known as the Hilux Surf.